Is your name Zozo? Are you here with us? I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns hide to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another abandoned explore video in the middle of the winter. It's super cold outside. I'm at this abandoned mansion, literally on a giant lake. I'm about to show you guys the views here. It's really gorgeous. And I haven't explored the house just yet. It's super big, but I do have some awesome guests with me today. I have Carlo, which is over here, and I have Angelo over there. What's up, Angelo? What's up? So we are going to be exploring an abandoned house. Really excited about this one. I don't know if it's haunted. I don't think so. We just came here for the views. So smash the like button and let's get on with this adventure. Dude, look at the view over here. We have an entire lake and there's people actually skating on the lake. I don't know if you guys can see that. All the way down there, some dogs and people skating. Really cool place. I've never been here before. So we are starting off this adventure here down in the basement and already I'm finding a really cool painting. Look at this. Now I know we're used to the haunted videos, but you know what? Let's take a break from the haunted today and let's look at some really cool abandoned. I don't think there's gonna be too much furniture left behind in this place. Whoa, look at this. There's like a creepy laundry room over here and there's like a bunch of doors that go. Whoa, what the hell? It's like a random bathroom and a little closet space. I wonder if they've left anything inside of these cabinets. They have, they've left some paint and some more paint. <laughs> so I am gonna go upstairs and explore it because I think this is it for the basement. This place is kind of on like a, a hill, so this is it for the basement. But I, I'm told there are some awesome views of the lake from upstairs. So let's go upstairs and uh, see what these views are all about. All right, you guys, here we go. Making my way upstairs, you know. I'm really sick of the snow. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have snow in your area. I know Texas just got a lot of snow and a lot of people got um, affected by that. So I hope you guys are all, all right over there in Texas. And uh, I'm on the main floor right now. And it looks like there is a fireplace over here that's been kind of dis... What? Oh, that's so cool. There's a jet ski on the water. Look at that. <laughs> I just, oh, there's another one. Well, that's so cool. I need to get myself a house like this. A jet ski or a, or a snowmobile. That's not a jet ski, it's a snowmobile. So this looks like it used to be the living room. Imagine having this view. Imagine sitting here having your coffee in the morning on the patio overlooking the beautiful water and just enjoying life. Now, I don't know why this place became abandoned. It probably became outdated and destroyed at one point, or the family could have died. Look at that ceiling and chandelier. Holy moly, that's huge. All right, let's move along and see what else there is in this place. So at the main entrance, we have a nice office. Look at the moldings on the walls. Isn't that interesting? I wonder if the electricity works. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting this. Dude, this thing is cool. It's so big. Whoa, look at this bathroom. Now that is ancient. Bro, you gotta look at this bathroom. It's like something out of an old Victorian house. It's creepy. Look at that thing. Oh my God. <laughs> it's in mint condition. It is. Like Carlo over here. Yeah. 
All right, so let's keep going. So I guess the other place wasn't the living room. It was just like a little chill spot because this is the living room. How many living rooms do you need in a mansion? But look at this, guys. You have this view. I'm going to turn off my light just so the people on the ice don't see me. Like, look at this. This is so crazy. Whoa. Swing sit down there. You know what? If I had this house, I would like create some type of like ice slide and just slide down on a sled all the way down into the ice over there. Now that would be fun. So they have all this like fake gold on the walls. And it's pretty cool. This was where the family was basically having their breakfast, their dinners. As you can see, this is the kitchen right here. Really cool kitchen. And then you have this beautiful staircase that's kind of in great condition. Have you noticed how amazing condition the staircase is? Yeah. That's so cool. The kitchen appliances are all completely gone. I'm not sure where they went. People probably stole them or the old owners ripped them out of the house. I'm really loving the way this house looks though, you guys. It's super cool. Let's go upstairs and see what's up there. Yo, Yo. have you seen how awesome condition the staircase is? Yeah. Did you amazing. see the wallpaper in that bathroom? Oh, dude. Spectacular. It reminds me of the Illuminati. Look at the yeah. checkered floors. <laughs> Out of all the things that we see, we get excited over wallpaper. You know, I've noticed that about myself. I literally do get excited over wallpaper. I don't know why, but I do. Hey, every window is boarded up on this floor. That's really interesting. So I'm on the main floor, and I'm getting some really spooky vibes up here, not gonna lie. Like, this is one of those houses where I feel like could potentially be haunted have some paranormal activity inside of it you never know sometimes it's an old mansion this place is probably over a hundred years old most likely why they abandoned it look at this another bedroom in here what the hell is this supposed to be it looks like it's some type of counter where like you would get food from a cafeteria or prison i don't know but i'm pretty sure it was just for makeup Really interesting thing to see. I've never seen anything like that inside of an abandoned place. Let's keep going and... God damn, this house is nice. I really like this. Look at these chandeliers made of wood. Got a bathroom over here, you guys. Then you got myself. Hello. Oh, I, dude, I'm getting like vibes up here. Yeah, like... Keep in mind, this is an old Victorian mansion, right? Like, I would actually want to do a night vision video here. Just, I think I might come back and do an alone in the dark video here. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you guys want. And I'll give it to you. Like, look at this. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Again, we got the lake over there. Isn't that a beautiful view right there? Now, for those of you that know where this is, you know where it is. But for those of you that don't, this is, hmm, let's see. I think that's Hamilton over there. Pretty cool. Not bad for Africa, right? I absolutely love the way this area looks here in the dark. Well, it's not completely dark, but it's getting darker. And look at this, there's a, a skylight over there to let in natural light. I really like that. But just the way these chandeliers over here are held up, it just looks really cool. And then you got the living room down there. I actually want to come back here and do a night video. Carlo, are we doing an alone in the dark challenge? Sure. Really? All right, guys, 10,000 likes. We'll come back here and we'll post up the night. Maybe we'll even sleep here, get some sleeping bags, some junk food, and some uh, blankets. And me and Carlo are gonna cuddle naked. Yeah? We're gonna cuddle naked. Thumbs up. All right, just no humping this time. Oh, this guy's humping. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's another bathroom over here. Ooh, this one's cool. You know what I like about this place, you guys, is that it is kind of outdated, but it hasn't been destroyed by like vandals. Really cool shower area here. And uh, let's go out to the master. I think this is the master. This is the master bedroom, no? So this right here is the master bedroom. It's really massive. And then again, you have this beautiful view. Imagine just waking up to this. Pretty sure the people that were skating are gone. Like that's their skating rink, the entire lake. They've shoveled it themselves and they just skate on this thing. So I think that's pretty much it for the upstairs of this house. I'm gonna keep looking around and see if there is more to look at, but if not, then we're gonna go outside and show you guys a view from outside. I really feel like a place like this could possibly have paranormal activity. Like I'd really wanna come back here at nighttime. 
Oh, I did miss some bedrooms. There's a whole bunch of other bedrooms, but most of them are empty. Like there's not much going on inside. Just empty bedrooms for places for me and Carlo to cuddle and snuggle up and do some bad things. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's always up for it, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, I am on the patio area outside of the backyard here. Look at how awesome this looks. It's so cool. We're not recording. What the hell was that? that well, Carlo, were you recording? Yeah, I Yeah. Something just like... <gasps> what the hell is that? Is that Lights off. What the hell was that? No, there's nobody out there. What the f was that? We got that second one on camera, right? Yeah, I think so. There was like a, a loud bang in here off camera. We're just about to head out. That was kind of startling. Are there any spirits in here? You got that on camera, right, Carlo? You yeah. were recording. You were rec I was recording. I was just going to record. He was recording the first one. It, was so it sounded like something hit the glass. Yeah, but then, no, it sounded like it was from in here. It sounded like something was trying to open a door or a window. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it was... Hey, let's go stand over here. Maybe it'll happen again. We were standing over here. Let's, let's replicate what happened. Dude, there actually could be some spirits in this house. Whatever did that, can you do it again? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was scary. It sounded like that was the head button. Yeah. Let's go downstairs. Maybe there's something down there. I mean, there's nobody out there. Yeah, we would have seen. There's nobody here. No one lives here. Nope. Nobody. Nothing. <laughs> that is creepy. We definitely have to come back and do a night vision 3 a.m. video here. Yeah, uh... Alright, if that's what you guys want, a paranormal investigation in this place at 3 a.m., we will do it. 10,000 likes, we'll get you that. So let's do it. We've been looking, trying to see what it was that made that noise. No, we, we can't figure it out. I don't know, man. I can't figure it out. Any spirits in here? It sounded like it came from this area here. It did, yeah. That was creepy. Okay, I guess these spirits don't want to talk to us. We'll come back at 3 a.m. though. You know, you would think it'd be peaceful here, but because of the bridge, yeah, it's, the yeah, like, I, I mean, it's nice to have a lake <laughs> in your backyard, but no thank you on the traffic noises. It's still cool to look at, you guys. All right, so here's the thing. I couldn't leave you guys on a cliffhanger like that. So we decided to come back at three o'clock in the morning and continue this investigation with night vision only. Unfortunately, Carlo had to go home because he does have children. I have a daughter as well, but she's being taken care of. But Carlo has to take care of his kids, so he's not gonna be joining me and Angelo on this night vision um, part of this video. It's gonna get scary, I hope. I feel like this place could have something living inside of it, and that's why we're here. It's so late in the morning now, and uh, to give you guys this adventure. So let's carry it on, let's continue it, and let's keep going. All right, so this place obviously looks a million times creepier in night vision. And uh, Angelo's upstairs. So I really wanna to get to the bottom of the noise that we heard that when we were here earlier today. Hey spirits. We came back for you. So keep in mind guys, we actually ended up leaving and we filmed a different video and then we came back just because we wanna see if we can capture anything paranormal inside of this place. I do feel like there could be something creepy. I'm gonna make my way upstairs. Are there any spirits in here? Are you gonna be mad at me if I disrespect you in any way? Look at how creepy this bathroom looks with the night vision, you guys. The one thing I hate about night vision is not being able to see in front of me. We do have a bit of light coming from that bridge all the way over there. 
I do want to try out the spirit box upstairs. No clue why upstairs. I really don't have a point of reference, but we did hear a noise coming from downstairs. I just can't get over how awesome this view is. Look at that. It's almost 3 a.m. We know spirits are very active at this time. You want to give us something? Anything? Let's go upstairs and see what Angelo's up to. This is the part of the house that really creeps me out. I don't even know where Angelo is. Angelo? Yeah. Where are you? Camera keeps going blurry. Are there any spirits in here? Chandelier is moving. Oh! Oh! Are they both moving? What was that noise? That was like the noise that we heard earlier, except it was louder. Yeah. Wait, are they both moving or is it just one? That one's moving too! Oh my god, that chandelier is moving too. Ooh. What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't know. Hello? Hello? I'm, I'm scared to go downstairs. Both these chandeliers are moving. Really? Yeah. Mine's going red. Look, that chandelier is moving, dude. Yeah. Do you have a spirit box on you? I have the SRS, yeah. Okay. Where did that noise come from? Did it come from up here? Hey spirits, are you still with us? Are you mad that I insulted you? Don't be, I do it a lot to spirits like you. That thing is moving. There's no wind in here whatsoever. Scared. Yeah, for Footsteps. Footsteps. Spirits. Ghosts. Demons. Whatever the hell you are. Show yourself. I heard a noise coming from this room over here. Spirits? That's just a mirror. It scared the crap out of me. Are you with us? Show yourself. We want to talk to you on the spirit box. Will you talk to us in the spirit box? I can't see a thing. <gasps> Dude. What? Look at the chandelier. Is it moving oh, faster? faster? Are you touching that chandelier? It's also getting way colder in here. Yeah. I'm gonna whip out the spirit box yeah. and see if it's if it's something's affecting that chandelier. Oh. What the hell was that? It said go away. I'm trying to mount my camera on the shelf over here right beside Angelo. Why do you want us to go away? Why do you want us to go away? So much for mounting my camera. Yeah, for real. Why don't you go away? 
Are you haunting this house? Was it you that made that chandelier go off like that? That was creepy. It literally said go away. Yeah, for real. Why don't you say something else? The chandelier stopped. Spirits? What? Did it say f you? I heard bastard. I felt like it said. Did it just answer you? It said really? Are you standing beside us? What do you look like? What's your name? Give us a name, come on. Are you a demon? Can you make the chandeliers move again? Oh, that's a little kid's cry. That literally sounds like a little that kid cry. Oh, it is! You're right! What the f was that? It just started moving again. It stopped moving, and then as you said that, it started slowly moving again. And I asked him to move it, right? What is your name? You must have a name. Show yourself. Even if it's just an orb, show yourself as an orb. I don't see anything because it's so dark. So I'm relying on the camera to capture everything. Are you afraid of us? Where are you? What the fuck was that? Well, you heard something? Yeah, something from behind you. Not from the spirit box, but it sounded like it came from behind you. So the spirit box is going off. The reason why we're not really talking is because it's very active right now. <laughs> Holy shit. It's very active, which is why I'm trying to keep talking to a minimal so we can hear things. Are you gonna hurt us? Come on, get the fuck <laughs> I can't make out what it's saying. Yeah, it's not like, it's, it's not English, that's for sure. So the K2's not going off. So some people will say that, some people will say that the spirit box affects the K2. But look at this, I have the K2 right over the spirit box and nothing is happening. So if anything does come up from this K2, it means there's something standing here, so. Oh, right there, right there where you are. I have it pointed at you, yeah. and it just started glowing. It stopped, it went over. Like, oh, yeah, look at that. You went off to yellow. Are you targeting me? Did you make that chandelier move like that? The chandeliers are not moving now. No, it stopped. Hey? Hello? Who are you? They could tell if that was like a little girl or a woman. It sounded like a little kid's voice. Yeah. Do you have a name? Oh, f that. What was that? I have no idea. My name is Mo Sarji. I'm using night vision in the dark. I would like to get to know you. What's your name? Come on, give me something. Just a name, anything. Angela's over there. <gasps> oh, the the 
chandelier is moving even more now. It's spinning. It's spinning. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's fucking violent. Are you spinning that chandelier? Oh my god. Yo, this is fucked up. We're getting something now. Dude, I'm not making this up. I'm feeling the strongest pain from my left ab abdomen. Do you? Yeah, it's like something grabbing my abdomen, but really painfully. Whatever's here. Dude, look at how it's spinning now. It's spinning differently. Are you making the chandelier spin like that? Are you swaying it? Can you make it go faster? There's nothing down here. I can't even reach this thing if I wanted to. That's terrifying. I wonder if the K2 will give me anything if I put it near the chandelier. I can't reach. I can't reach. I'm getting something. Really? Yeah, it works. Yeah, see? Periodically it'll go off to me. Do you want us to go away? I'm gonna carry the spirit box and walk around with it. For some reason, the battery on this camera is about to die. I literally have 10% left and we just started using this. Something is draining my camera. So if my camera dies, this adventure ends. Leave me. Holy shit. We just wanna know your name and we'll leave, I promise. Come on, just give us your name. Give us a name and we'll leave. Is your name Zozo? Do you hear that? I heard a voice downstairs. I heard a footstep downstairs. Before that, there was like a moan? Yeah. Man, this place freaks me out. Spirit? Show you. What the fuck was that? Was that you? No. That sounded like a door. Yeah. So that was actually like a door? It sounded like a door opening yeah, and closing, right? Definitely. Like subtle. The thing is, that door is... Is that door open? It kind of sounded like it came from up here or down there. I feel like I seen something down here too. I don't know. Are there any spirits in here? We gotta go down there. What the f I'm scared. Come on, hurry up, I'm scared. I can't see a thing. Something? Oh. I don't know if that door was open or closed. This door just swung open. And we got that on camera. Did you get it on camera? I, I think so. What did that? I'm standing right under the chandelier now. We should, we should do a spirit box in here now. We saw you opening the door. Wanna do it again? Man, this fireplace is creepy as fuck. Are you here with us? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god! Oh, fuck this shadow. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That was the. I don't know what the fuck that was.